My name is Sharon, and I'm going to be your guide through this training series. We call this a Firestop Coffee Break Training because we want to give you a training program that fits into your busy schedule as easy as a coffee break. But most importantly, this is a training that offers a lot of value. This program is designed as a mini course. That means that we're going to pack it full of tons of valuable information. But since we're keeping it short, there will be a lot of information we simply won't have time to get into. If you're interested in a deeper dive into a particular discussion, we'll have other training that we can invite you to join us for. Now, if when you look at this menu of courses, you think there's a lot more that we need to add, I will probably agree with you because there is so much information that I want to share with you. The goal at the moment, however, is to deliver the training that will have the biggest positive impact for the people that are dealing with Firestop and passive fire protection. And I am so excited that you're joining me for this first mini session. Mini, it's almost two hours of training. But it's gonna go over the most basic information that you need to know about special inspection of Firestop. We'll be talking about Firestop special inspection, when it's required by code, what's covered by the inspection, and we'll talk a little bit about what isn't covered, so you know you need to assign somebody to look at this other stuff. The most important takeaway for this whole session, though, is to help you know how to identify whether or not the special inspector is doing what's required. The last video is gonna give you five basic questions that you can ask your special inspector to see if they're capable and qualified. Now, clearly, they need to know more than just the answer to five basic questions, but if you're in a hurry and you just want the basics, this is a great place to start. If you decide that you'd like more information, of course, we're happy to help with that as well. Now, let me give you a little history lesson so you have an idea of what I've seen in the last 20 years because this may help you better understand why this special inspection stuff is so important. Then I'll give you the outline for the rest of this program. I've been in the fire stop industry since 1999 and in the last 13 years alone, we've been involved in over $19 billion worth of new construction. Now I'm talking about everything from three-story wood frame projects where I was doing special inspection to $4 billion high-rise projects where we trained, planned, and designed the work. We've been involved in projects such as prisons, nuclear power plants, hotels, casinos, convention centers, data centers, airports, hospitals, and so much more. So that's a quick ditty on me. The more classes that you join me for, the more you'll learn about me. One thing that you do need to know and you'll learn in this series, is that I am a storyteller. You'll see what I mean. But for now, let's look at Firestop. Firestop has been a requirement of the building code since the mid-1980s. When it was new, the material would sell for around $500 for a five-gallon pail. It was expensive. The prices are much lower now, but people still think that Firestop is crazy expensive. A lot has changed since then, from the products and technology to the level of understanding in the construction industry there's still a lot more information that needs to get out to more construction teams, and that's what we're hoping to do with this training. So let me outline what we'll cover as we go through this. First, I want to explain special inspection so that you understand the role a little bit more, at least as the ICC defines it. That's the International Code Council. But special inspection of fire stop is not a requirement on all projects, so we'll go over when it is or isn't required by the code. Those two topics will have brought us partway through one line of building code that we're looking at. That's 1705.17, which is the code section on special inspection of Firestop. And when we are done, you will know that one line of code inside and out. We'll go over the information in the ICC special inspection manual so that you understand how this one line of code changes the role of the architect as well as the building official. One of the changes that we will note is that the architect and the building official need to ensure that the Firestop special inspector is capable and qualified of conducting special inspection of Firestop. Well, how the heck do you do that? Not to worry, we will cover that in our last video. When you're done, you'll have five very basic questions that you can ask the special inspector to determine if they're doing special inspection of Firestop properly. There's a lot of special inspection firms who are adding Firestop to their list of offerings, and quite frankly, they're no more capable of assessing Firestop than that kid was of installing it. These five questions won't guarantee that you have a good inspector, but they will help you keep the hacks out of town. If you go through this training and you want more, I've got good news for you. We're building a tribe of people who want to do things right. People who know they need to keep learning to build better. People who take pride in their work and don't cut corners. If that's you, then welcome. We have a whole heap of training that we want to share with you. It's not all developed yet, but as we start to create new training programs, you'll be one of the first to know. 
and one of the first to sign up, which is awesome because we'll give you early bird discounts for any of the classes that are in development. Please know in advance that while we are happy to train our competitors, this is not a training that's designed to help a special inspector know how to do this scope of work. It's not a bad start, but it's just a start. We have a lot of training that we're developing and it'll be invaluable to special inspectors. So stay tuned, you're gonna love what we're pulling together. Oh, and one more thing. There's an assessment at the end of each video. If you complete the assessment, I'll send you a bonus with a little something special for you. So thank you for joining me for this introduction and I can't wait to see you for your next Firestop Coffee Break training.